Alright, welcome to Hopkins Armor Holdings Coffee Tabletop Review of AR500 Flash Bayonet Steel Plates. We took the plates out to the range and we tested them. And these were the plates that Gary sent me. I'll find them real quick. This was a spider mitigation system shield. What we have here is a 10 by 12 with a relief cut, or some people call it a shooter's cut. I'm just going to call it a relief cut. And I didn't want to test splatter or spall or fragmentation this time. That's why I didn't use the box like I said I would use the last time. But we went out, we shot 308 rounds at the small 6x8 plate, and then we shot the 5.56 62 grain green tip penetrator. And that's a 308 case. We also shot it with a Russian case, and I believe I hit it one time with the Russian, but that's the 7.62 by 54R Russian case for comparison. And this was the 223, 5.56 by 45 for the NATO round or the military M193. Uh, green tip penetrator but looking at the plate you can see little dimples on the plate there's even a little keyhole shot where one of the bullets actually keyholed and tumbled when it hit the plate so it hit it sideways instead of head on there's even a shot up here but if you'll notice there's there's no deformation on the back sides of the plate these plates are pretty dirty with lead, so let me turn it over. Still has some dirt on it, but there's absolutely no deformation on the back side of that plate. No deformation. And it was shot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, should be 20, there might be two right there, should be 20 times with a uh, 5.56 M193, and you can see there's absolutely no deformation, there is, you know, just a slight bit of damage on the top of the plate, that was to be expected from the mild steel core of the bullets. On the 6x8, and these again were test plates that Gary Cola of uh, Flash Armor, uh, BayonetSteel.com, he sent me these plates for testing. And on this one, you can see ever so slightly there's a dimple, smaller than the 5.56 that came from the 308 round. And there's three, three shots of 308 round. Uh, on the back side, no deformation whatsoever. The, the plate itself might be slightly bent. Might be, might be out of round just a little bit. But without another plate to actually test it against uh, from Gary, um, that was the test. So 20 rounds of 5.56. No deformation. Absolutely no penetration whatsoever. No deformation on the back side. Uh, that was 20 rounds of 5.56. We actually used an AR-15 that was equipped with a bump fire stock. It was exciting. Let me tell you, it was exciting. If y'all hear an explosion in the background or if it gets a little bit bigger, if the camera shakes, I think they're doing some pyrotechnic uh, training out at the Shaw Air Force Base. So don't be alarmed if you hear that. 
Um, they've been doing it for the last week, week and a half. But again, as far as you know, the AR500 goes, uh, it was top notch, no failure whatsoever. Now, I do want to talk about this plate. This is again AR500, and the reason why the color is different is I, I spray painted this one, but we shot it five times: one, two, three, four, five. This was with a 308. 308. So you got one 308 round there, and then you had four 338 Lapua Magnum. And you can just see the size difference between a 338 Lapua, a 308, and then to throw in for comparison. So that's 338 Lapua Magnum. 7.62 by 54R, which I would say that's equivalent to like 30-06. 308 Winchester Magnum. 223, or the military equivalent was 5.56 by 45. 62 grain green tip penetrator was what hit this plate. But th these four shots, one, two, three, four, were all from this. 338 Lapua Magnum. 300 grain over 3,000 feet per second, absolutely no penetration. No penetration whatsoever. And to turn the plate over, you can actually see the size of the dimples. Just use a little casing in each of the pockets, just for size comparison, so you kind of see what's going on in there. And the 223 almost fits down. I would say it's the same neck diameter on the 308 or 338 Lapua Magnum casing. If you can see that, it fits perfectly in there, and it's, I think it might be a little bit bigger, but that just shows you. But this again was AR500 steel. One 308 round right there kind of nicked off the edge, but 75% of the bullet hit the plate. 338 Lapua, 338. 338 and 338. Now there was no penetration, but you can see that the last round actually joined all three of the uh, of the rounds together. And for size comparison, I don't have my tape measure with me, but I'll use a 308 shell casing. That's the size comparison. So however long the 308 shell casing is, that was the bullet group. We're not talking center to center, we're talking outside edge, outside edge of a bullet. But if you want to go inside, let's call that an inch and a half group, at 100 yards. This round, uh, I think one of these rounds was originally shot at 85 yards, so it was a little bit closer. But the other rounds you can see are all the same uh, depth. You can notice there's extreme deformation of this plate. From the 338 round. Again, no penetration. I think that's outstanding. It proved my case. The uh, police chief thought that these plates would not stand up to the 338, and they did their job. They uh, functioned flawlessly. Again, there's ever so slightly dimples in this, but no penetration whatsoever, and no no deformation on the back of the plate from the 223. And the reason why I tested with these three rounds is this would be the most extreme that a police officer, in my opinion, would face as a threat. It would be a 338 Lapua Magnum. There's a lot of hunters out there that have 338s. Um, hopefully, maybe in a month or two, I'm going to test these plates against a uh, 458 Lot, a 375 h and H Magnum, some other rounds that are up there around the 338 uh, Lapua, but I really would like to see what would happen with the 458 lot. I've got access to that, and again, these are quarter inch. These, two, these plates right here are flash armor from bayonitesteel.com. This was another AR500 plate that I had, but again, I'm sure that these two from flashbayonitesteel.com 
would hold up to the same uh, same standards and Gary tells me that his process hardens them a little bit more and I believe that's why if you look at this there's really no deformation here now I will say this there's no deformation on the back of the plate it may I'm gonna say no deformation whatsoever looking at the plate there might be the plate might have been flattened a little bit but there's no bumps on the back but it may have flattened it so if you want to call that a deformation and yeah, whatever what I say is deformation or what I think is deformation is this but here looking at this plate right here this was shot with a 308 round the same 308 rounds that shot this plate and if you look you can ever so slightly there is deformation in that plate this was not flash bayonite steel but this was a uh, competitor steel and you can see that there is deformation and I've seen a lot of other tests on YouTube where they shot it with a 308 and there was deformation on the back of this plate from flashbanitesteel.com there is no deformation you might be able to feel something right there where the two shots were side by side there may be a yeah I can feel something but there's no deformation I think it I think all it did was it just flattened it a little bit and to me that shows that this plate from Flash Armor, BayonightSteel.com, held up better than this AR500 plate as far as deformation goes. So I'm going to say that these plates held up better than this. Um, maybe we'll take these plates out and shoot them with a 338, but I didn't see a purpose of doing that because the 308 test, in my opinion, uh, actually fared a lot better with Gary Cola's plates. And this is what I'm going to be selling with Hopkins Armor Holding is the Flash Bayonite Steel. It is trademarked. Uh, Flash Armor is, t is a trademark. And this uh, splatter mitigation system that Gary came up with. And this is just another test plate. When you put it all together, this is his system. And he'll install it on the armor if you want to... Uh, if you want to pay for it that way or he'll cut it and send it to you if you buy his stuff. Now you can see these plates were not cut by Gary so they don't fit the system. If you take the plate out and put Gary's plate in, okay, his plates fit better. Now this plate is a test plate so it's, it's not the full length. For this, uh, for this panel. But it is 6x8. This panel is a little bit bigger. It's just for demonstration purposes and everything. But you can see it's still rounded a little bit. Maybe a little bit flatter. But here again, this was what I tested this past Saturday. Today is May 8th, so that would have been seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth. I believe that would have been May 4th. Everything. Double check, but flash armor. Y'all have a good one.